one, just about 1.6 million rand. Set, and away they go from the 1600 meter marker. Annaberg is about four or five lengths off the first call as Trip to Freedom takes them along. So Trip to Freedom is showing the way. On the outside of that, improving now is provoking to be amongst the leading group. Miss Rosa Parks is right there. They are followed by Desert Song. The yellow cap is near the rail. On the outside of that, Sing Along. That's in the black. And then Annaberg in the orange. Now at this stage, Annaberg's racing about six or seven lengths off the leader. Further back in the run then is Blue. Blue Bell Girl, that's the light green cap on the inside. Galway Girl is towards the outside. Further back in the run is In Jess. Got about eight or nine lengths to make up. Then Sparkling Susie, followed by Just Do It. And then comes Seeking Alexis. They really stretched out. They must be about 15, 16 lengths from top to tail. They're about to take that angle into the home stretch. And Provoking is attempting to go from pillar to post, but Miss Rosa Parks is on the outside. Back in that third position between runners, Trip to Freedom with the white sleeves and cap. The outsiders sing along down the inside, Desert Song. Shoot the wagons, got about five or six to go. Then comes in Jess, further back, Galway Girl. Coming to the 300 meter marker though, and Miss Rosa Parks the leader. In second, Trip to Freedom. In Jess is running on from behind. Down the inside, Shoot the Wagon running around is Miss Rosa Parks in Jess there go in shoot the wagons running on from behind Miss Rosa Parks shoot the wagon in Jess is on the inside and in Jess has won at second maybe shoot the wagon third place to trip to freedom maybe Anna Berg ran fourth Right, number three, a deserved winner in Jess, the filly by Silvano. And this one is for Mary Liley, Tony Rivlin, Stuart Randolph, and for Ambient Stud seeking Alexis just coming over the winning line right now. So obviously something went wrong. And in Jest, just look at that head on there to go from out to in and still wins very well indeed. I thought the horse nearest us might get second. Number two, shoot the wagon. Then number four, trip to freedom. And further back in the run, Miss Rosa Parks, Anna Berg, they involved in that photo. Toad favorite, number two, shoot the wagon. The winner, take note of it, two or three off the right-hand side. That's got... Uh, the white noseband, green cap. Now the horse in front, watch this, goes across. Gee, Stuart had to take it up. So you can say it would have been an unlucky loser, but still goes on to win by, what, nearly two lengths. So well done there. Number three, in Jess, the Silvano. Number three pays up at 10.60 and 2.60. And until the running of the fourth race, back to the studio. Well, number three in Jess comes through to open up the pick six. Tony Riverland for Mrs. Liley. Uh, nice that she's had a winner as well. Stuart Randolph doing duty from a poor draw. Dr. Marianne Thompson at uh, Ambient Stud. Well done to you, ma'am. You bred this uh, daughter of Silvano, who's come through to win a very good race and open up the pick six. And joining us for the groom's presentation, nice to have one of the managers at Hollywood Bets, Stalin David. And I must apologize, I only thought it was a Hollywood Bets initiative, and I'm told by Raf Sheikh that it's Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle with this groom's initiative. So well done to both concerned. Okay, first up, who are we going to speak to? Let's have a chat. Okay, let's do the groom's uh, presentation. Uh, Andile Sikibi. Andile Sikibi, he is the winning groom. Well done to you, Andile, getting his 1,000 rand from Starling Dead. Andile, well done, my man. Congratulations. You got 1,000 rand from Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. And I think let's have a chat to the winning owner, Mrs. Liley. Tony Rivelin has kindly excused himself. He's got Trisville to Banage, who also races in the colors of Mrs. Liley later on today. But she's all smiles because this is a pleasant surprise, Mrs. Liley. No, Tony said he did fancy her. You know, I told everybody, each way, each way, <laughs> because she was drawn so badly. So, I mean, 15 out of 15. So I think Stuart did exceptionally well to get her over. And then he nearly got balked at the finish. So well done, Stuart. He did a, he did a very good job for us. 
you know, thankfully things didn't go horribly wrong because you were sensible enough to switch her in, but yes. she was just too strong for them, Mrs. Lily. Well, she's a lovely filly, so hope this is not the last one. <laughs> Yeah, she's taken a bit of time, but nice to yes. see her win. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Well, you've got a busy afternoon. Anything that Tony mentioned later on in your colours? Well, he's now gone to saddle up um, Tristral, and he's each way also. <laughs> okay, so you're expecting for a, a good afternoon? No, I never expect too much. We've had one, and I'm happy to have one, but anything else is a bond seller. Okay, these colors now, how they're looking uh, with regards to babies and young horses that are coming through? You've got a few that are still going to be coming through the ranks? Yes, I have. <laughs> Quite a few that haven't raced yet. Even four-year-olds that haven't raced. So who knows, 2019, 2020 can be a wonderful season for you. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> well, Mrs. Lali, as always, looking uh, <laughs> tremendous. And uh, keep up, uh, you know the winners and all the Thank best you. to you for the rest of Thank the afternoon. You. We'll keep battling. <laughs> keep, keep battling, Mrs. Lyle. She's got her feet firmly on the ground. She's been around for many, many years to be, you know, optimistic about what's going to happen in the day. After all, it's horse racing, Stu. You've been there, done that. How many seconds you've had in your career? <laughs> Too many to get to remember. <laughs> Those short head seconds, I mean, if you could convert them to wins, it could be a different result with regards to your career stats, couldn't it? Absolutely, the, those are the sore ones. But anyway, that's how life goes, and we carry on. Okay, this horse, uh, you know, uh, the draw was obviously the concern, but uh, you just left her where she was comfortable. Yeah, no, I must, I must just say thank you, big, big thank you to Mrs. Lali, you know, for the support and uh, uh, the lovely job by Mr. Rivland. You really got her well. As you said, the, the draw was a bit of a factor early on, but she, you know, she the speed was on, so she was able to overcome it. It worked out nicely. Better to give her that chance and. Um, yeah, when I asked her for an effort up the straight, she really accelerated. One or two hair raising moments, but she was able to recover, and that was the main thing. She just had too much uh, in hand, you know, even the interference was not going to concern her. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's a crucial part of the race. You are a bit, you know, it is a bit worrying at the time, but uh, I must say all credit to, to Ms. Rivlund. You know, when I asked her again, she responded straight away and uh, held them off. Well, a nice win for this Felice Jew, so well done to you. Anything else later on? Um, yeah, I think I'll a little chance uh, in the next for uh, Mr. Van Furen, you know, uh, showing a good second with me last time. Um, and other rides, yeah, we just have to see we need a bit of luck on our side. Well, it's a good ride from you, Sue. You got one on the board. All the best for the rest of the afternoon. Well played, yeah. No, thank you, Jason. Thanks again to Ms. Lali for the support. Thank you. Nice ride. Thank you. Lovely. That's uh, Stuart Randolph, and we've seen it uh, a couple of times already with uh, the, just the three races. Race one, Muzieni over 1,200, overcoming the draw in jest now over a mile overcoming the draw so the boys are certainly uh, on their a game this afternoon and up next will be the jackpot and that jackpot will start at 14:30 up as two